just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like got a made it Shout out to Graven. Y'all know what time it is. It continues to be list season. Whether it's top five this, top ten that. Love looking at people's lists. Different players from different teams, how they feel that they should be ranked, where they got them placed at, and all that good stuff. But this list has had a lot of people talking. A whole lot of people talking. Now, y'all know me. I don't like to create lists. I don't like to say, oh, I think that this is the top five this, or this is the top ten that. But somebody who didn't mind saying it, was former Baltimore Raven and current Las Vegas Raider, Darren Waller, tight end for the Raiders. Uh, and, and again, you're welcome. You're welcome, Raiders, for the Ravens converting him to a tight end because, um, you know, they, they ain't know what to do with a receiver that's over six foot. But anyway, um, shout out to the Ravens for making that switch because the Ravens must have known, like, man, we, we like this guy. He got some good speed, got some good size. But at wide receiver, we just don't know what to do with him. But we want him to be on the field so bad. So you know what? Let's make a switch. And that switch worked out for Darren Waller in the long run. So it's been an amazing thing to just see how his career has blossomed. I love it. Super happy for him, especially knowing what he had been through in order to get where he is now. So shout out to him. But he was on a podcast the other night. And he was asked, who are your top five tight ends in the league right now? Now, we know um, your top five this, top five that is debatable. Um, it's to, to everybody's own personal judgment and discretion and how you feel about it yourself. And that's fine. But widely around the league, widely around fan bases, widely around just a lot of people who talk football, um, most people in their top three to five, uh, they'll have a combination of Travis Kelsey, George Kittle, Mark Andrews, and Darren Waller. And however you list them at one through four, whatever. It's, you could throw it up in the air and it could be a, a fair list. But with this list from Darren Waller, I just, I got no problem with a lot of the stuff that's in here. But there was just one that just threw me off. And the placement of that one that threw me off, I was like, what? Let's go over this list. So, number one, Darren Waller, his top tight end in the NFL, he believes it's himself. Hey, I, I respect the confidence. I respect you believing in yourself. And I, I mean, he is a baller, as we all know. I mean, um, if you're a Ravens fan and you weren't familiar with Darren Waller being a baller, then I think you need to go rewatch just week one of last year alone. That, that's the only game you even need to watch. Because um, he was going off. He was going off. Uh, but anyway, he has himself at number one. All right, cool. Number two, uh, Travis Kelsey. I believe Travis Kelsey has like the record for most like thousand yard re receiving or thousand uh, yards, uh, thousand reception yards uh, by a tight end and, and have X amount of seasons in a row, something like that, some crazy number like that. But anyway, Travis Kelsey is also a beast. Um, number three, George Kittle. He is like a, a super shredder. A wide receiver playing a tight end position. The dude is big. He plays with a lot of power uh, at tight end. And George Kittle, he, he is a monster, as we all know. Now, number four. Um, fast, speed is there. Um, even even cracked a thousand yards last year as a rookie. Um, came from Florida. Uh, tight end, Kyle Pitts. Again, rookie, rookie last year. Rookie last year. The tight end Kyle Pitts um, he is at number four and then following Kyle Pitts following Kyle Pitts top 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 five receiver I mean excuse me top five tight ends in the league right now according to Darren Waller and again I respect everybody's opinion I, I sure do I don't have to agree with it but I do respect it but number five is Mark Andrews and I was thinking like huh how that just that had me a little perplexed. I'm like, man, how can you put Kyle Pitts 
over a Mark Andrews. The, the one through three, I, no problem, whatever. Again, like I said, if you throw those four, those four tight ends that we named, you throw a bunch of names in a hat and you pick one out randomly, that could be the list as far as it goes for Darren Waller, Kelsey, Kittle, and Andrews. And I don't think many people would have a big problem with it because I feel like those top four is just so close. I feel like it's so close. And I feel like if you put any one of those top four, and I mean including Kyle Pitts too, in another one of the team's situation, because they are relied upon heavily, I feel like anybody would ball out. Any of these tight ends would ball out in other situations. But these guys, just they just got something extra. But back to the, the subject at hand. Kyle Pitts over Mark Andrews. Now, what is this based on? Um, is it based on how he feels the potential is? The, the potential certainly there. And he again, to get a thousand yards at the tight end position in your very first year. But let's look at if it's just based off of last year alone, because you know that's what some people do. And I mean, he was a rookie, so he's only had one year in the league. But let, let, let's let's just look at last year alone. So uh, Kyle Pitts had 68 receptions. Okay. And had 1,026 yards. Okay. Um, so he averaged 15.1 yards a, a catch. His longest catch was for 61 yards. Oof. That's, that's long right there. Um, and he had a, a, a whopping one touchdown. Whopping one touchdown. Now, we know Falcons last year were in for really for the longest. I think really ever since the Super Bowl. Um, they've been a big yikes. Ever since their Super Bowl against the Patriots. They, they've been a big yikes. Um, so they really haven't been doing much of anything. But... Yeah, that so th those numbers are those numbers are nice as far as the catches and the yards and the average touchdowns. Yeah, that's gonna improve over time. Um, but let's just look at Mark Andrews numbers. Just just last year alone, we not not his career, but just last year alone. Last year, one hundred seven catches, one thousand three hundred sixty one yards. Now his average was lower than Kyle Pitts. It was twelve point seven yards per half. And 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 we know the quarterback situations and whatnot, but. No, we don't care. We ain't getting to all that. This is what his numbers are. Uh, and we know numbers don't tell the host, but this is what the numbers are. So we're going by that. Uh, his longest reception was 43 yards. Which, which, which game was that in? I don't even remember. But anyway, uh, touchdowns. He had one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he had eight more touchdowns than one Kyle Pitts. So I just... If you just base it off of last year alone, how can you put Pitts over Andrews? That's that's my only gripe with this list. That, that's my only one. And again, like I said, I know everybody is entitled to their own opinion, and I respect it. I respect it like crazy. But again, just because you respect something, you don't have to agree with it. And that's fine. That's fine. Um, so that's the part that had me really scratching my head. Now, uh, to take it on another level, this is something that I was thinking about. Um, you see with Mark Andrews, and I mean, you could say the same thing for George Kittle, too, um, because I feel like it's something that really uh, propels those guys up even more when you really, really, really just think about it. Mark Andrews plays for the Baltimore Ravens. What are they known for on offense? They are known for being a run first team. But, but, uh, not, not just that. They're known for being a run first, <laughs> run second, run third, run fourth, run fifth, run sixth, run seventh. They, they are a predominantly run team, run heavy team. Like, if you, I know the, the 49ers, they are run heavy, but like the Ravens are like, run my size heavy they like really do this thing on the ground and that's their mo that's what they've been known for and that's what they've been doing especially over these past ever since lamar jackson they they like they were always a run team but after lamar jackson got there they went run crazy with it so for mark andrews to still be considered one of the top tight ends it ain't because of blocking I mean, his blocking has improved over the years, but he ain't one of the top tight ends because of blocking. It's because of him making plays in the passing game. So for him to put up the numbers that he puts up in the passing game as a tight end in a run first, second, third, fourth, fifth offense, that 
elevates him even more, in my opinion. It really does. Because you look at a Travis Kelsey. Chiefs, now Chiefs are the exact opposite of the Ravens. They are a pass first, pass second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. They are a pass first team, by far. Uh, the Raiders, they are a pass heavy team as well. They try to run here and there. Then they certainly try to run more than the Chiefs do. I think everybody tries to run more than the Chiefs do. Well, maybe except the Bills, maybe. But they certainly uh, do their fair share of running. But they they pass that ball for sure. Um, and the 49ers, they, they all run first. Um, they pass more than the Ravens. Uh, I think everybody passes more than the Ravens. But you see what I'm saying? So I, I think that um, that allows you to make a case for Mark Andrews even more based off of his situation and the fact that he has continued. Like every year, he like elevates himself. Uh, he continues to ball out. Like, let's just look at his numbers real quick because I, I got him pulled up. I mean... 2018, 34 catches, 552 yards, three touchdowns. All right, cool. That's his rookie year, and we know that that draft class was oh, that's beautiful. Anyway, 2019, 64 catches, 852 yards, 10 touchdowns. So he went from three to 10 touchdowns from his rookie year. And rookie year, he didn't even start all the, all the way. So rookie year, he was just getting a feel for the NFL. And he was like, oh, okay, I think I can do this. Boom, 10 touchdowns. <laughs> and then in 2020, 58 catches, 701 yards, uh, and he had seven touchdowns. What happened there? Why, why were the numbers so low there? Hmm. That's interesting. I, I really don't remember. I know somebody in the comment section. I know y'all got a better memory than me, though. But anyway, um, and then last year, he just went crazy with it. He was like, oh, Ravens paid me? Oh, you know what? Let me show them. Let me show them that they're getting way more than their money's worth. Went crazy with it, 107 uh, receptions, 1,300 yards, and nine touchdowns. So Mark Andrews has continued to improve his game um, over the years. Uh, and again, like I said earlier too, the blocking. The blocking has improved too. Uh, but again, you could really make a case for Mark Andrews. Um, like I told you, you could put those four names, Kittle, Andrews, Kelsey, and Wally, you could put them in a, in a hat and draw out randomly and put them in top in the top four list based off of that. But Mark Andrews could really he really made a case for himself why you could propel him even higher. Um, but I know with Kelsey, a, a lot is based off of the situation uh, with Kelsey putting up the numbers that he's continued to put up. You can see why he's up there with Waller and just like I said, everything not not just everything that he's been through, but everything that he's done. As a, as a tight end for the Raiders and, and him being on that steal of a like a steel steal of a contract. It's crazy. And of course, George Kittle, the same thing. Kyle Pitts, first year, good job. And that's only the start. So again, this was not to, to down Kyle Pitts at all. That's, that's not what we about. Um, but this is just more so just wondering how uh, and why uh, he placed Kyle Pitts over Mark Andrew, even if it's just based off of last year alone so anyway that was that i love y'all team keep it clean if y'all find any lists y'all know send them my way yeah.